Well, when we left the Rio Grande, I wasn't really sure where we are going to end up. I needed a job, and there's always something to shoot. So let me tell you, the law of attraction works, and you never know what's next on a walkabout yeah, life. I mean, it, again, this is going to be B-roll to death, so... Did y'all know mules can jump, rope cattle, and then an aid in train robber? Well, I didn't either. And shortly after leaving Austin, Randy called. Then we headed to Springfield, Missouri. Welcome to Ozark Field Days. <laughs> well, I gotta tell you, this is the Corwin Arena in Springfield, Missouri, where the Ozark Mule Days is taking place. We've been running around shooting interviews all morning and just kind of learning about mules. It's a male jack donkey with a female horse. If it's the other way around, you've got a female donkey with a male horse, it's called a henny. And they teach these mules to do all kinds of tricks. I mean, a lot of people claim that a mule is the best of both worlds. A little bit of donkey, a little bit of horse equals a legendary animal. And tonight, they're plowing the arena up for a show that's going on. The mule makeover. Just try to imagine what that is. Got some butt busting going on at seven, and I've got a new toy on here tonight. It is a 600 millimeter Sigma on the 5D. Look at that. Bible Belt now. You know, after traveling around Oregon and the Northwest for so long, they're very liberal out there. And Missouri, well, it's part of the Bible Belt, so it's super conservative. And I think both of them have their problems. Liberals see the world as everything being bad. And it's really not that bad. We live really great lives. Everything goes super smooth. And then maybe they have a little too much empathy or not empathy but sympathy for everybody and feel like it should be free I mean animals got to get up and work every day and then maybe conservatives on the other side I don't know just don't don't have enough empathy I mean I've been told that many times that I'm not a caring person you know what I beg to differ and we got to check this wagon out these guys ride thousands of miles with a mule team in a wagon. It's kind of like the van without a motor. This thing is fascinating. They did a thousand mile trip through the state of Wyoming with a three mule team on the front and a set of reins riding in looks like Ford van seats. Got a bunk in the back, food, stove, you know, some tools up front. They do about 20 miles a day, 40 on a big day, and just try to network with friends and public lands along the journey to graze their mules and find water. Just stake them out and, you know, let them graze at night. They also carry some feed, I guess, in case of a pinch. I mean, where do you even board a horse every 20 miles in this country anymore? Ain't too many people doing this. It's about like hiking on the highway. But it's legal. The only place they can't go is the interstate. Well, 
well, it's Saturday night, and Randy and I are definitely that guy with the long lens sitting in the back. He's on the other side. Somewhere whereabouts. Over there. And I'm just sitting up here by the booth. Tomorrow is Sunday, it's the last day, and I've got some more shooting to do, but at this point, you know, we got, we got a lot of, a lot of interviews, we got a lot of B-roll. I've learned a lot about mules. They're pretty cool. A lot smarter than, than you know, I think most people give them credit for. Them. I've got five bitches. I've got you ten thousand freaking dollars. Ten thousand. She's really pissy. <laughs> She's ready to be done. Well, just like I wanted, life has gotten busy. So I'm going to try to keep putting these vlogs out. Sorry if it was a little short. And uh, quickly put together. That's how things go. I'll see y'all soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I love you guys. Peace.